Hello and welcome to the Medical Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Samuel, founder of a revolutionary medical sales training and mentorship program called the Medical Sales Career Builder. And I'm also host of the Medical Sales Podcast. In this podcast, I interview top medical sales reps and leading medical sales executives across the entire world. It doesn't matter what medical sales industry, from medical device to pharmaceutical to genetic testing and diagnostic lab, you name it, you will learn how to either break into the industry, be a top 10% performer within your role, or climb the corporate ladder. Welcome to the Medical Sales Podcast. And remember, I am a medical sales expert sharing my own opinion about this amazing industry and how it can change your life. Hello and welcome to the Medical Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Samuel, and today we have with us a very, very special guest, and she goes by the name of Emma Studeman. What makes Emma so special, besides the fact that she's a phenomenal medical sales professional and a phenomenal career coach, she is a phenomenal, specifically, personal story coach. She works within the Medical Sales Career Career Builder Program here at Evolver Success, and she is the one that helps people find why they're even trying to get a position, why they're here, what makes them unique, and really empowers people to truly deliver when they're talking to sales reps, hiring managers, senior leaders, and not just knowing what to say, but truly understanding why they're doing this in the first place, diving into it, and and living with that mission as they continue the interview process. I don't want to spoil it and give anything away. We're going to hear from Emma on why personal stories are so important, what she truly does as a coach, and of course, what makes Emma who she is and what makes her so gifted at this position that she's so fantastic at. As always, we do our best to bring you guests that are doing things differently in the medical sales space. So I really do hope you enjoy this interview. Hey, Emma, how are we doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm excited and, and happy to be talking to you. Why don't you tell everybody who you are and what you do? Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I am a career coach with the lovely Samuel on Evolve Your Success. Um, I am the personal story coach. So I'm really passionate about helping people dig deep and come up with that personal story that's gonna drive them throughout the duration of the interview process and throughout their entire career as a medical sales rep. Outside of that, I am a medical sales rep myself. I do surgical sales and I absolutely love it. So I'm really passionate about My job, obviously, the effect that we have on patients' lives, um, but also just helping other people get into this super rewarding job, too. I love it. I love it. And, and, you know, it's the the work you do with us is so valuable and important. But what I really want to get into, you know, to kick this off today is I want to kind of attack, let me not attack, tackle what, why it's so important to have a personal story. You know, one thing I think that no one talks about is, it's, it's one thing to have a personal story that we're going to talk about when you're in the interview process, but it's a whole other thing to have a personal story that still kind of carries you into being a sales rep that you're still utilizing. You know, let's start with the interview process. Why is it so important to have a personal story? And, and I guess you can also ask, answer, Emma, what does it even mean to have a personal story? Yeah, so your personal story is basically what makes you unique. It's not just wanting to be in medical sales because it's a great career path. It's so much more than that. It's what makes other people see a huge value and difference in you. Um, So that's kind of from the interview perspective, that's why it's so important. But there's also a personal aspect to it as well. And when you can really kind of get to the core of what your personal story is and what it really means to you, it can help really drive you throughout your career. And it's, it's always there to, you know, go back to, to make you think about, you know, when days are tough, this is what my purpose is and this is why I'm here. And this is, you know, this is my reason. So there's just so many different benefits to perfecting your personal story of course, in the interview process. And that's kind of what I talk to students about at EYS, but also just from a bigger perspective, it's, it's going to really benefit you in your career. Yeah. So you're the personal story coach in the medical sales career builder program at Evolve Your Success. 
what, you know, some people might listen to this and say, personal story, coach. What? I mean, it's a personal story. Just tell your story. Talk to us a little bit about why, why can't you just, you're someone who wants to be in the industry and you're not quite clear, but you really want to be in there. Why is it, and, and if we don't want to say necessary, because I want to say necessary, but if we say, why is it incredibly helpful and beneficial to actually work with a personal story coach? Oh my gosh, such a multifaceted question. But yes, I recognize that this is the most most niche thing to talk about. Like, like you said, why would I talk to you? <laughs> why would I talk to someone about my story when I know what my story is or... You know, when I feel like my story is good enough, mm -hmm. but that's why it's so important to get more specific. And it feels like from an outsider's perspective, such a small part of the interview process, but this could honestly make or break you as a candidate. It really can, because like I said earlier, this is what's going to make you different. This when you can get really good at sharing your story and feel really confident with it, it's going to make you in some ways, sometimes the obvious candidate, you know, it's, it really helps people resonate with you. I mean, just in general, we're humans. We really relate to stories and we are emotional beings. So when we talk about stories and, and share them, um, it creates such a, incredible impact. Would you say that working, you know, it's, it's what I love about your role uh, in the program is you actually don't just do the coaching in one call. In, in, in any cases, you have multiple calls with students to get that story right. Mm -hmm. Outside of the obvious of being able to, to play back an amazing story for a hiring manager to hear or a sales rep to hear or a senior leader to hear at a medical technology company, what other benefits would you say from taking that time to work through your personal story that it gives the candidate? Yeah, it definitely, a lot of the time does not just take one call because it, you kind of have to think about it. Um, and you really want to take that time to reflect on what do I want to say and what do I not want to say? So a lot of the time I'm giving students homework. Like, okay, we're, you know, we're having this conversation, we're getting deep, we're, we're really digging into, but why? <laughs> and then we can revisit it later on in a, in another call and say, okay, what, what have you come up with? Um, let's run through your personal story. How can we get even deeper? How can I challenge you even more to think even more outside the box of what we have already come up with. Yeah. What I, what I love, you know, we are results. We are results oriented. I am results oriented. You are results oriented. I think, I think in sales, yeah. you're attracted to anything sales, clinical specialist, associate territory manager. You're, you're, you're kind of someone that wants to get results. What I love about, about you, Emma is, you know, everybody you've worked with uh, and you've worked with quite a few people. Now the, the average rate, that we are now graduating is 89 days. Wow. So 90 days is what we uh, tell the world and 120 days is more what we tell the world because we changed our program so that in the first month, you're not even allowed to do anything but get prepared, resume, career portfolio, blah, 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 blah. But working with you, you've been able to really get behind what people are trying to say. And then more importantly, a little side effect I like to say is your time with with students allows them to work through the issues and the objections they're going to experience in the actual interview process. Yes. So now when they're getting that question that challenges them and they kind of stumble and fret and don't know how to answer it, there's, they're, they're getting right past that. They're navigating e easily right past that part because of the time they spent with you. You know, one of the things I'll say about a personal story is personal stories literally bring up every objection any hiring manager would face in wanting to hire you. You, you know, you, you didn't stay at any, at any company you worked with long enough. You, you don't have any sales experience or medical experience. Why should we even consider you? You're overqualified and this position pays you too little. You can go on and on and on. Going through a personal story brings all that up, gives you the power to handle it. 
And then, of course, it creates results when people knock it out in their interviews. So uh, that's a big thing that everyone needs to know comes with understanding your personal story. We love the proactive objection handling. <laughs> exactly. Pro look at that. Proactive objection handling. You nailed it. So listen, this is fantastic. But people listening right now, and they're like, okay, okay, I need, I, I think I might need a personal story coach. For those trying to get in. And you're looking for where to where do you find this resource? You find our program, but you're probably also wondering well, who's Emma though. I mean, why is she qualified? Why is she so good at what she does? So Emma, take us back to college. What was the plan? What did you want to do? And what actually happened? I love this, and you know what? I was actually just going to bring up my past because <laughs> a lot of I mean, anyone can relate to this. Any step that you take in your career, everything that you learn you get better and better at it. And you realize things along the way. And that's how I kind of got to this super specific passion of helping people with their stories is because I've, you know, seen it enough from so many others to, to notice this gap and sure. to notice that, okay, there's, there's more outside of interview prep and figuring out what your strengths and weaknesses are and how to answer this question and how to answer that question. Because when you know your personal story, it it kind of just flows into answering almost every interview question, if you think about it. Yeah. Um, so my history, I, I went to San Diego State. Um, I had a very complex major in the sense of I couldn't decide one, so I picked three. Oh, three. Jeez. What what? <laughs> I didn't have three degrees. Let me say that. Okay. Um, I was an inter interdisciplinary studies major. So that is where you pick three emphases and you um, take a certain amount of classes to be able to kind of have that, that major. So I, I went into school to major in psychology. Um, very early on, I decided that I wanted to be in the healthcare field. So I looked into nursing um, and then I looked into, I just looked into so many, I looked into biology, but not really a science person. <laughs> um, so that's when I came across interdisciplinary studies. And I was like, this is perfect for me because now I can kind of combine um, my passions in, in different majors and kind of turn it into a fusion. I love, I love that. I hope you're enjoying today's episode. And I want to let you know our programs cover the entire career of a medical sales professional. From getting into the medical sales industry, to training on how to be a top performer in the medical sales industry, to masterfully navigating your career to executive level leadership. These programs are personalized and customized for your specific career and background and trained by over 50 experts, including surgeons. Our results speak for ourselves and we're landing positions for our candidates in less than 120 days in top medical technology companies like Stryker, Medtronic, Merck, Abbott, you name it. Would you run an Ironman race without training and a strategy? You wouldn't. So why are you trying to do the same with the medical sales position? You need training, you need a strategy, and you need to visit EvolveYourSuccess.com, fill out the application, schedule some time with one of our account executives, and let's get you into the position that you've always dreamed of. Yeah, so um, I chose public health as my main one. Um, I'm very passionate about public health, psychology, of course, because I've always loved psychology and that's kind of what I went to school for, um, to begin with and communication, because I was interested in like the sales side of things okay. and the science of communicating with other people. Um, so that's what I studied in school. After I graduated college, I actually went into sales. So I kind of put my my you know thoughts of being in healthcare to the side so i could learn a little bit more about business and sales okay um so i took a job in staffing and that is where i learned the importance of the personal story mm -hmm. um, i was i started as a recruiter i got promoted to account manager so i was doing outside sales but i was editing so many resumes Oh, so that gave you the insights. You you were putting all the pieces together, and this is how this person needs to come across for this to be successful in any way, shape, or form. 
I saw both sides of it. Cause as a recruiter, you're working with the candidate. Right. So I'm, you know, working with them to update their resume and improve their resume and then prep them for interviews. And then I was also on the client side. So I was actually working with the manager on what they wanted out of candidates and presenting candidates to them mm -hmm. and shadowing interviews. So I would sit in on interviews and wow. see how yeah. they can yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. with my client. And wow. then I would get feedback right after. Wow. So I've seen hundreds and hundreds of interviews. So that's why the personal story is so important is because I kept finding myself mm -hmm. as I was prepping candidates, like getting deep with them. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's real. And, yeah. And sometimes they're, you know, thinking, oh gosh, I don't want to get deep. Like I don't want to do this for an interview, but especially for a sales position, you do have to stand out. And especially for a sales position, specifically in medical sales, it's very competitive. That's why the story is. It's is so important. Important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, when, so, so thank you for that. The, you know, it's, it's, it's fantastic to hear your history. And I, and I did not know you had, you put yourself in a position in college to have so many experiences to kind of decide where you finally want to be. Mm -hmm. Now with, with personal story, you know, what would you say with your, with, with all your experience in working with so many thousands of people's personal stories, what would you say is the most common block or issue when someone is trying to get to the personal story? Like what are they normally just hung up on? I have two answers for this. One of them is that they simply don't know what they can and can't say in an interview. Sure. That makes sense. So, yeah. So a lot of the time, you know, you don't really know how, how much of your background you should share or what classes you took in college or, you know, whatever that might be. So some people just don't even really know what to say. That's one block that I see. It's probably the biggest one. Um, the second one is they don't know what kinds of things to think about when formulating their story. Mm. It's kind of complicated. Tell me, that's good. Tell me a little bit more on that. Like, what do you mean? Give us a little bit more on that. So for example, a lot of the personal story calls that I have with the students is just asking them questions. So when you're, you know, when you're doing this prep on your own, sometimes you don't know what kind of questions you should be asking yourself to really get to. Get to the heart of what you're trying to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So you've worked in staffing, you've worked with a recruiter, you've put yourself in positions to see thousands upon thousands of resumes and interviews. And, and that's why you become such an amazing personal story coach. But now you're back in the medical sales space. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. I mean, how does you working in the space give you even more insight into your powers as a personal story coach? Yeah, I, so when I originally went into staffing, it hurt me a little bit because I always had this passion for healthcare and I, I grew up in a family of healthcare professionals. Um, my grandfather, who was my role model, he was a pediatrician. So I always thought of, you know, going into a clinical setting, but I, I just didn't know if you know, I was having my doubts and that's why I went into staffing originally. And immediately I just, I kept coming back to, oh my gosh, I need to be in healthcare. I need to be in healthcare. I want this so bad. Um, yeah. So my last company, actually, they, um, my portfolio was all medical device companies. So I, I went to my manager. I said, you know, Hey, I'm really passionate about the medical field, specifically medical devices. Can I staff for these companies? And she said, yeah. So um, all of my end clients ended up becoming medical device companies and, and that just solidified my passion for it even more. Like, okay, I'm, I'm placing people at these companies, but I'm not working at these companies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love sales. I love building relationships. There's so many amazing things that I, I love so much about it. It's time for me to take that leap and go into medical sales. Mm -hmm. So that's what brought me to where I'm at today. And 
I just the, the fusion of, you know, having obviously my medical sales job and yeah. being able to do this coaching yeah. is like a dream. Come true. <laughs> Amen to that. That's what we do here. Evolve your success, Emma. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's our program and I'm not gonna, I talk about it every episode, but I do want the audience to hear your perspective of our program mm -hmm. and not the details, just the results we're getting and, and, and the value you see, because you were someone that was outside of it. You saw what we were doing. You liked it. You joined us and you loved it. And now we're, we're, we're all operating at a completely different level. Share with the audience, what is it that you saw that made you say, wow, you know, this is where I want to be. Uh, to, to, to work this part of my dream. Every time I go on LinkedIn, I see another student landing a job <laughs> through EYS. And it makes me so happy because when people go into the program, nine times out of 10, it's because they're discouraged. And it's because they've seen the effects of how competitive this market is. And it feels so good to see someone go through a transformation like this from, you know, not knowing if they'll even land a job in medical sales. You know, they finally come to the conclusion that, yes, this is the perfect job for me. I'm super passionate about this. And then feeling like, you know, there's there's nothing else that you can do. Yeah. And seeing that transformation and seeing people you know, post, I'm so excited. I landed this position with this company. It just, it makes me really, really glad to see that. And it just goes to show how effective the program is and not even just how effective the program is, but the relationships that you build in the program, you know, all the students will be commenting on each other's posts. And I've even seen students gather together in person and meet up. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And, yeah, and it's just that community aspect of you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You have this group of people that are all feeling the same way that you do, and we're all in this together, and we're going to cheer each other on as we land our jobs in medical sales. So I just am such a big fan of this program because I know it works, and that community aspect, you kind of – you. It really helps to have those people there to support you. Yeah. You know, I think, I think, you know, anyone can think that getting a job, you got to find recruiters and you got to have your resume and you got to have this and you got to have that. And, and I think people sleep on the value of having a resource that knows exactly what you need to be doing, having a resource that allows you to practice what you need to be doing and having a resource that gives you community. So that no matter what you're going through at any point in the process, we're right there fully supported, got your back, coaching you, advising you, and helping you get right back on your feet to make this dream happen. So Emma, thank you so much for being on the show today. This has been fantastic. There's one more thing I really want to understand about you. You know, everybody that works with you, we have surveys for all of our students and everybody that works with you has nothing but raving reviews about you. And it's, it's led me to believe that you clearly have a reason why you do this. Tell us now, what is the reason that, that, sustains you? Why do you get up every day and give your all to these students in personal story coaching, give your all to your position as a medical sales professional? What's, what's your driver? Ooh, you're personal storying me now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, such a loaded question because there's so many things that keep me going and that I am so proud of, but I think what really drives me to help see success in these students is the empathy of knowing how it feels to want something so bad, but not know how or if you're ever going to get there. <clears throat> I've, I've been there myself where I didn't get a job I really wanted and I didn't know if I was ever going to, and then, you know, coming across the opportunity I have now and, and realizing that everything happens for a reason and it just clicks and it makes sense. And it's why those past, you know, 
whatever happened in the past didn't work out. And I just want to, I want others to see that too. I want others to feel that motivation and that excitement that the best is yet to come and it's going to come, mm -hmm. especially if you are, you know, in a community where you're being supported. So that's what really drives me. That's what helped me feel like so much purpose in being the personal story coach is that I have been there before and I just want to do everything I can to impact the careers of other people because we spend a third of our lives in our jobs mm -hmm. want, and I'm very career driven. I think that's a huge part of my personal story and my why is that I am really passionate about what I do and I want to make that really big impact. And if I can help someone go from a job that they don't like to a job that they can't even believe exists, then that nothing feels better than that. Mm. You couldn't have said it better. <laughs> um, I love all of that. Uh, Emma, it is, it is, it is beyond a pleasure to have you on the team and, and allowing us to have the, the amazingly successful results we have. Uh, it, it really is thanks to, to you and, and the individuals in the program that are just like you uh, that have taken the time to learn so much in their own fields, develop the skill set. And can give back to these students and get them into the position they deserve. So I love to share that. It was great having you on the show. Before we wrap up, I want to have a lightning round with you. Emma, do you know what that is? I think I have a guess. Okay, but you can't. I'm not going to let you have that. Okay. You don't know because you've never done it, but you're going to do it right now. And this lightning round is you have less than 10 seconds to answer four different questions that I'm about to ask you. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. First question. What is the best book you have read in the last six months? Oh gosh, I, I'm not gonna lie. The only books I've read are fiction books <laughs> in the last six months. Oh good, give us the best one, come on. <laughs> oh gosh, um, honestly the book I'm reading right now is really good. Like I said, it's a fiction and it's a little fluffy, but it's called Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Is that a romance, is that? It's so basically it's about the butterfly effect where this girl, she can, she's at a crossroads. She can either go home with her best friend from the bar or she can go home with her high school sweetheart from the bar okay. and they alternate the chapters. Are yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sure there's a, there's a whole population of people that are like, I am definitely checking that book out. What's it called again? One more time. Maybe in another life. Maybe in another lifetime. Okay, that will be in the show notes, folks. So for those of you that it's speaking to you, you will be able to get access. All right, I question. Wish I had like a sales book. Or <laughs> no, no, that no, because if you had all that, you wouldn't be real. We got we only do real over here, Emma, and and the real is that you're reading a book called In Another Lifetime, and that's what it is, and you love it. So everybody else is going to be able to love it too if they get it. Next question: What is the best? TV show or movie you've seen in the last six months? Okay, so there's the new, see, this is another like girly answer. <laughs> um, the new Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell movie was really funny. Now, I, I think I know Sydney Sweeney. I know who that is. She's from oh. Euphoria. Yes, and I, and I did watch, that show was intense, my goodness. But okay, okay, so it, what's the show called? Anyone but you. Is it is it is it scary? Is it another romance? Is it you said girly, so <laughs> what are we getting here if we sit it down is, this? It is a rom com. It's it's just a, a really good, funny rom com. Like like ten things I hate about you. Right? No? But funnier. Funny? Ooh, okay. I thought that was like the classic of classic. What do I know? Okay, all right. Next question. What is the best meal you've had in the last six months? We want the name of the restaurant, and if you can, the item. Okay, there is... So I just recently moved to Central Oregon. Okay. I live in Bend, and there's a restaurant here called Bosa. Okay. It's an Italian restaurant, right. and they have the best... Cacio e Pepe I've ever had in my life. And I've been to Italy. So whoa, that's a whoa. So it's better than what you can get in Italy? The best Cacio e Pepe I've had. Okay. 
So not oh. all not all pastas because right. like, right. like the pasta, but oh, that's that's imp- in, in Oregon too. You wouldn't think something like that would come out of Oregon. It's so random, but everyone I know that's been there just can't stop raving about it. It's the dish is the cacio e pepe with um, truffle on top. Mm-hmm. Why am I suddenly hungry? Okay. And last question, but not least, what is the best experience you've had in the last six months? So six months. I'm going to cheat a little bit because in August of last year, I think that was, I took my mom to Europe for her first time. Wow. Yeah. And we went to Barcelona, Paris. Wow. Wow. The Amalfi Coast. So that was really special. Amazing. That's amazing. Emma, again, it's a pleasure having you on the team. You you are you are truly gifted and you are able to pull stories out of our students that even they are surprised by and, and of course helps them and helps them be successful in landing these positions and then go on to have uh, successful careers using those same stories to get close to their providers and, and staff. So thank you for everything that you do. Uh, where can people, if people want to find out more about Emma and what she's up to, where can people find you? Yeah, I am most active on LinkedIn. Just my name, Emma Sturdivant. Um, you can find me on my Instagram. It's Emma Career Coach. And then I'm also on TikTok as Emma Career Coach. Absolutely, Emma. We'll keep on doing what you do and getting these students where they need to be. And uh, thank you for the time today. Thank you so much. It's been so great. Always a pleasure speaking with you, and I appreciate you. Absolutely. And that was Emma Studeman. Wow. You know, I felt it necessary for Emma to explain what she does because I don't think people realize that what we do here at Evarva Success, it's not just getting a job. It's not just, yeah, we're going to help you get a medical sales job and good luck. That's not, that's not, I mean, that, that's part of it, of course. But that's not the focus. The focus is we truly want you to evolve your success. When you don't, when you're doing a job, you don't really appreciate, or when you're doing a job, you don't really like, or you work for a company you don't really believe in. Even if, even if it doesn't feel like it, it spills over into every facet of your life. You know, our jobs are literally where we spend the most time sleeping in our jobs. And then life happens in between. So it's, it's imperative for us to find a job that matters to us. Is it having an impact the way we want to have an impact? Is it allowing us to have the freedom the way we want to have freedom? Is it allowing us to take care of our lives the way we want to take care of our lives? All these things matter. And when you don't have these things in your job, it affects your personality. It affects your energy. It affects your mindset. It affects your goals. It affects your everyday thinking. It affects everything. And like I said, it spills over into every facet of your life, your relationships, your home life, your health. So if there's an opportunity to get it right from the jump, why wouldn't you? And that's what we're doing here at Evarva Success. We're helping people find where they're supposed to be. We're empowering them with the, with the tools that they already have to do those jobs effectively and well. And we're allowing them to create the life they've always dreamed of. And that is uh, something that Emma's doing every single day in the program. And we, we are so grateful that she's a part of our mission as we help students just like you. So as always, we do our best to bring you guests that are doing things different in the medical sales space. We do our best to give you information, education, and of course, resources that will get you to where you need to be. So if you're out there listening to this episode and you're thinking to yourself, wow, I think I need exactly what she was talking about on this call. Or you're saying, I think I want to be in medical sales and you know exactly where to go. EvolveYourSuccess.com, fill out the application, submit it, schedule some time, take the assessment, schedule some time with one of our account executives, and let's get you to where you want to be. And make sure you tune in next week for another episode of the Medical Sales Podcast. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And remember, I have a customized and personalized program that gets you into the medical technology industry as a sales professional or any type of role for that matter. Become a top performer in your position 
and masterfully navigate your career to executive level leadership. Check out these programs and learn more at EvolveSuccess.com by visiting our site, filling out an application, schedule some time with one of our account executives and allowing us to get you where you need to be. Stay tuned for more awesome content with amazing interviews on the Medical Sales Podcast.